Welcome back to your around the clock coverage of March Madness here on CBS. I'm your host, Jill Valentine, here as always with Basketball Hall of Famer, Mac the Big Town Roundhouse. Mac, what an amazing lineup of games we have this weekend. Jill, I am so excited for this weekend's slate of games. I mean, the tournament has been incredible so far. And don't forget some of the stories of these players. I mean, some of the hardships that they've overcome have been truly inspiring. Let's hop into the first game of the afternoon. Texas Tech is coming into this game against Duke just scorching hot from the court. Mac, do you think they have what it takes to put up against Duke's stellar defense? Jill, I absolutely believe that. The Red Rockets have been on fire from three this year, coming in at just under 40% a clip. And it helps when you have a strong guard like Jonathan Piper. I mean, he has it all handles, a soft touch, and the ability to shoulder the burden of losing a parent at a very young age. What was the last one, Mac? Uh, well, you see, when he was about seven, Piper's watched as his father was torn apart by wolves on a camping trip gone wrong. Um, but instead of going to therapy, he took that trauma out on the court. Uh, and I mean, the results just speak for themselves. You know, watch that man drive to the basket. There is the pain of a much older man in those eyes. Alright, well, moving on from that, um, to the second game of our doubleheader, uh, Mac, what can you tell us about Virginia Tech's chances against number one seed Kansas? Well, Kansas is the number one seed for a reason, but the Hokies have a real chance at an upset pick. They're well coached, they're scrappy, and they can drive it to the offensive glass. And it all starts with the down low from Cameron Deloitte, who has been the anchor of their top ten defense this season. That's right, Jill. This six foot ten senior is big, strong, and still grieving the loss of his parents who died two years ago in a freak Alaskan snow rabbit stampede. Did you know that Alaskan snow rabbit stampedes kill about 15 people every year? No. Why do you know that? Uh, regardless, Deloitte is a defensive menace. His opponents don't shoot over 50% when he's on the court. Mm -hmm. And he blocks shots like they're the memories of his parents' funeral. <sighs> okay, um, moving on. Um, now, basketball games tend to be unpredictable, and so do the ups and downs of life. Um, that's why Allstate is here for you when life gets a little out of your control. Mac, what is our Allstate unpredictable moment of the day? Jill, our Allstate unpredictable moment of the day goes to none other than UConn's own Angela Clark, who led the Huskies on a warpath through this tournament. Now, earlier today, Clark led her team to a dominant victory over the Bulldogs, but what's even more impressive is that she was able to do it after hearing the news that her mother was unpredictably struck in a hit and run. Oh my god. Uh, in fact, I think we have traffic cam footage from the accident. Let's go to the big board. Uh, do, do not go to the big board. Now the first thing I want to point out is the 0-60 to 60 speed of the car that hits Mrs. Clark. I mean, this thing looks like a freight train going through a farmer's market. And then, and, and pause here, I want to point out the bad form here of Mrs. Clark when she hits the ground after being thrown through the air. I mean, just look at this. No cradling of the head, no fetal position, unconscious before she hits the ground. It's like they don't teach the proper techniques in school anymore. Oh, and um, before the show, I received an injury report from the hospital. Um, Mrs. Clark is questionable to be alive tomorrow. Oh, oh my, um, okay. Um, of course, our, our prayers, thoughts and prayers are with Angela um, and uh, the Clark family at this time. Um, we're actually going to cut to commercial break now so we can have a quick chat with our friend Mac here. But when we come back, we'll be discussing our picks for the MVP of the tournament thus far. My money's on St. Peter's Doug Forsett. Did you see his shooting splits after his brother got captured by an alt-right paramilitary group? Off the charts. 